Lanigan used to drive me home at night from the sessions. Here's a fun story. Mm. Mark Lanigan, who became good at producing himself, but when we were working on this one Screaming Trees mix, okay. there's this thing that, once again, young people don't understand this, but the kind of variation there is with analog playback okay. between different machines. So you can make the best mix in the world, put it on a cassette, and then you play it in your car, and it doesn't make any sense. And that has to do with the alignment of the head and how clean the head is and all kinds of um, things. The same thing with the speakers and what the car does. So we had a Screaming Tree song we were trying to nail. And it was over the Christmas break, and so no one was coming into the studio. And so, uh, and Sam was cool with this, uh, the studio owner, but uh, me and Lanigan left this one song up on the on the mixing console for like three days. And we'd work on it, and then he'd come back the next day and go, it still sucks. I'm still not doing a very good Mark impersonation. I haven't done one yet. <laughs> I used to, when I smoked, I could do it really well. Um, but anyway, on the third day, I said, well, maybe we should go back to your place and see what it, you know, what it sounds like there. So instead of you telling me about it, uh, and we got to, back to his place. And once again, I'm going to draw it in the middle of the screen here, mm -hmm. but you walked into his place and he had two pretty big speakers, you know, 70s speakers. God knows if they were still working, but they're on the floor, which means they're already adding an octave to the bass because they're on the floor. Mm -hmm. And Mark's room had a long hallway. Okay. So you walk in and there's a closet and there's a long hallway and speaker one is here and speaker two is at the back of the hallway. And speaker one has a giant pile of sweaters and laundry in front of the speaker. Okay. And, and so I looked at it and it says, first off, stereo doesn't live with this depth perception thing. So you don't have the left, you know, 20 feet behind the right. And then check this out. And I moved the laundry out of the way and it sounded really good. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark, I can't do it, but he, he was obviously very angry with himself for half a second. You know, just, he didn't think of moving uh, the laundry. Yeah. He didn't think to move the laundry, you know, <laughs> that's, that's funny, man.